Guess who's back? Back again. Rebel's back. Tell all your Confederate friends. He's got a knife, got a knife, got a knife. Yes, mate, that's a knife. Southern born in the fire there. This is today's update. People seem to be liking, uh, they can go to my website, check out the new items, then find the video for the day's update. This is another one, guys. This is like the old proverbial sore, you know what, hard to beat. Uh, you would wear out a pair of hookahs at a show, maybe a year's worth of shows, to find a better example of a tin scabbard with a better example of a picture perfect, just stunning Confederate fighting knife. Um, the file, blacksmith hammered in the Southern fire. Check out the uh, lines from the original file tool. Flip her over, the same. Got a nice little clip point. Once again, it's like the picture-perfect size of the ones that we see that we just fall in love with. The guard, hand guard, just enough to keep another knife from, from getting a hold of you. One pin. That's all I see. Got Ethan on the camera. We're getting a little late start today. I'm the school bus driver for all my kids, all their private schools. Nothing on the butt. Let's get to this bad boy belt loop once again guys it's super duper rare to find any confederate fighting knife side knife d guard pick your uh pick your name it's got lead rivets in the seam no stitching to break and whoever made this he was either a soldier an ex-soldier or he knew a lot about making a knife check out them and if you've seen leather scabbards always the toe that the knife's poking out of. He's reinforced the toe. Belt loops always tear. Rip through, come on, just, just usually they're gone. You ain't gonna get that one gone. Guys, I don't know where you get a better example of a Confederate fighting knife anywhere. Period. All right, guys, I'm going to photograph it out here at the woodshed. I'm going to get in there, and I'll get it on Rebel Relics uh, here in about maybe 20 minutes. I'm Brian Akins, rebelrelics.com. See you!